Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am the Style Coach. Today's video is all about how your colors can be affected by tanning and false tanning. Two different things and I'll explain why. They absolutely do affect the colors that you wear and we'll talk more in depth about why that is. Before we get going, can I please ask you to like the video if you're enjoying it and learning something new, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you're able and willing to do so, you might want to give some super thanks. Uh, for the price of a coffee, you can support this channel financially uh, to help keep it going and to help me deliver content just like this. You can also check out my services and upcoming online courses down below. Let's get started with today's video. The first thing I want to address is tanning. Okay, so not out of a bottle, you're just out in the sun and your skin is changing. And you might find, and I have found this many times, that some clients will say to me, I can wear certain colors in the summer better than I can wear certain colors in the winter. Let's get into that. The first thing I wanna differentiate between is your skin tone or overtone, some people call it, and your skin undertone. And the language that we use for each one of these. When we talk about the skin undertone, you would have heard me talk about this many, many times in color analysis videos, your undertone is cool or warm. Now this is a spectrum, you can be kind of neutral cool, neutral warm, very cool, very warm, okay. This is the underneath level of the, the skin. It does not change throughout life. Okay, if you're cool, you're cool. If you're warm, you're warm. That's it. Now, let's talk about the skin tone, or some people call it the overtone of the skin. This is the thing that changes when we go out in the sun or when we get pale in the winter. Some people will see their skin tone change after they wash their face, or if they blush, or if they have rosacea, or uh, acne makes their skin red. These are surface level changes that are happening. Now let's get specifically into what happens when you get a tan. The tan is the surface level of the skin changing. When we describe someone's skin tone, we use the words something like fair, light, medium, deep, or dark skin tones. We do not use the words warm or cool. That's the undertone. So when we are talking about the skin tone and when we get a tan, it's the skin tone changing, not the undertone. Therefore, what happens is when you go out in the sun, and let's say you're sunbathing with all your SPF and everything and you're, I know a lot of people will avoid the sun these days, that's good. But if you notice that your skin is changing in the sun, your skin is getting deeper. It is the value that's changing, not the temperature. So remember in this system, the Monzel color system, we have temperature, we have value, we have chroma. We are talking about the value that's changing your skin is getting darker when you tan. Some people who maybe to the untrained eye would say, oh, my skin is getting um, uh, warmer. Uh, it's getting browner, all of this kind of language. But in fact, it is still, and I speak for myself, it's still a cooler color. It's just a deeper version of cool. Because the skin is getting deeper, you may feel like you can wear different colors and you're quite right. Let me give you an example of myself. In the winter, I would struggle to wear white next to my face. The reason is I understand through my own color analysis that I need contrast next to my face, some level of contrast. Now I can give that contrast to myself through the clothes that I wear or makeup that I use. So in winter, if I wear a white shirt, I don't have that contrast that looks best on me because this contrast I've created naturally through framing my face with my hair. I don't have that contrast down here. I always look best when that contrast is continued next to my face. White, although it's a winter color, doesn't give me that contrast. Yes, it's in my palette, but no, it's not one of my best colors. For me to wear white well, and you'll often see me do this, especially where I'm doing color analysis and I wear white to keep the background neutral, 
I'll wear a strong colored lip to help me wear that. However, in the summer, I do get a good tan. That's another conversation, by the way, <laughs> okay? So I'm cool undertoned, I do get a tan. So if you're somebody who's saying, well, I burn in the sun, therefore I'm, I'm cool, not the case, <laughs> not the case. Ignore that, okay? You cannot make a judgment call on that. I'm cool, I tan. And when my skin is getting deeper and then I put the white shirt on, guess what? The contrast is stronger and I'm able to wear that white shirt much better at that stage. When I've got a little bit of depth in, my, in the color of my skin, the white has created contrast against my skin. In the winter, I don't have that depth in my skin, therefore the white doesn't look so great. Is that making sense? <laughs> so yes, even though I'm a winter, there are some colors that look better on me in the summer and some colors that look better on me in the winter. The key is understanding how to manage those and have that conversation with your color analyst, whether that's me or somebody else, they should have an understanding of that. I bet for a lot of you, the penny's dropping now about why things are working and not working throughout the year. So in summary about natural tanning, it's your skin getting deeper, not warmer. And a lot of people, I know you're gonna argue with me and that's fine. Um, but the language that we use is different. When we're talking about the skin tone, we're talking about the value. When we're talking about the undertone, we're talking about the temperature. Okay, let's move on to false tan and what happens there. When I'm doing a color analysis with somebody, I will always make a point of telling them to be free of false tan, tinted moisturizer, or any makeup. When you wear false tan, what's happening is you're actually masking the visibility of your undertone. So your undertone is no longer visible, therefore it becomes less important. So let's say I put on false tan. Now, depending on the tan, I think they're getting better in their variety, but generally speaking, they are making you warmer and darker. Okay, so it's not necessarily cooler or darker. I don't think they've advanced that much. Uh, let me know if there's a brand out there that is like that. But in general, I have noticed that false tan is about getting uh, warmer on the surface level of, of the skin and deeper. I did a color analysis on somebody uh, who was wearing a wardrobe full of autumn colors, but she felt that to wear those, she, she said she looked terrible in them uh, if she didn't have her false tan on. And I was like, okay, let's do your color analysis. Well, she ended up being a winter and not an autumn. No wonder those colors didn't look great on her. She had, she was working really hard. She didn't even like doing the tanning process, but she was working really hard to make the wrong colors work. Doesn't make sense. So if you are putting false tan on, even if you're cool or if you're warm undertoned, that will allow you to wear warmer colors better. You'll probably find if you are cool undertoned and you remove that tan, that those warmer colors in your wardrobe don't necessarily work and that cooler colors would work better. I often find that people who are wearing false tan over you know, years, it's just something they do on a weekly basis, they top up their false tan. And um, they do that to allow themselves to wear a wardrobe that doesn't work for them otherwise. To me, that makes no sense. I haven't worn false tan in years since finding out my color season. I haven't felt the need to because my colors don't uh, make me look bad if I wear them. It doesn't make sense to me to have to put on false tan, change the color of my skin in order for me to wear colors that are naturally outside of my norm. I find this an awful lot with my clients who are here in Ireland because we're known for having very light, fair skin um, and a lot of people would feel kind of, you know, very pasty in the winter time. Uh, but really, if you find the right colors, you shouldn't be feeling like that. Let me know your thoughts on this one. If you are a wearer of false tan or if you notice changes that in the colors that you can wear between winter and summer, is this making sense to you? Uh, when you understand this, everything becomes clear and uh, you become more confident in wearing the colors in your natural habitat, <laughs> in, your, in your natural state and um, everything becomes easier and you're more confident in buying things into your wardrobe that are going to last you, not just while you're wearing your tan or while you have a tan, but you'll understand how to wear them all year round for the rest of your life. 
Thanks very much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and I'll see you again next week. Take care.